What is up you guys? Today's review is a review on the PS Touch, the Photoshop Touch version for the iPhone 5 and any iPhone that supports it. I believe it runs from iOS 4.2.1 and up. It was released today, Feb February 27, 2013. And my first impressions were, I hope it's not as complicated as the, you know, computer version. And it's actually not. It's beyond easy to use so that's where you start off you basically export a picture from your uh, camera roll or from maybe a creative cloud that you got with Adobe so I just usually use them from my photo library and well I'm just gonna skip this part and it's very simple to choose it so once you choose it for example I chose this crazy picture of me so right there you got the options to duplicate the layer or to open up another photo and just duplicate it you know it's very nice in my opinion so right there you got the strength for the uh, brightness but since the brightness is already high it won't fix it that much right there you got the brush tools I mean the brush capability right there you got the all the type of brushes and like I was saying there you got some effects this is the actually nice part of this Photoshop version so right there you can play with the effects just make it how you want there's a pencil effect that makes your pictures look very nice and in my opinion that was a very good touch so you gotta adjust it to how you want it but it's very easy to use this software I mean this app I really thought it was going to be the hardest thing in the world, but it's not. It's beyond easy. And up there, you got some more tools. I mean, you got some more filters where it said FX. You can make yourself blue. You can just play around and, you know, have fun taking pictures and editing them. It's way easier than the computer version. Right there, you got some, you know, some circle, sec uh, some circle tools, some lasso selection tools and some polygon selection tools up there you got some a magic wand tool a scrambled selection tool and a brush selection tool up there you got the effect paint tool the paint tool the brush the spray tool and the eraser tool so I'm gonna be using the spray tool to show you guys and there you have my colors backed out and all that stuff so you can just make yourself a background or you could add a picture and you know just cram it on top and paint over it I mean and like fix it so that you you can you know just use it and if you're pretty good with the computer version of Photoshop you should have no problem at all now a cool thing about this you have a undo button at the top right you just press it and there you go it undoes a couple effects that you were put into and right there my camera has a hard time spotting it but you can actually rotate your picture you can add text to your picture transform your picture put wrap to the picture and it's just very nice you can add gradient effect fade effect and lens flare and camera fill you can actually take new pictures with this um, stuff right here you can add a new picture at the background and it's just very nice in my opinion Photoshop actually stepped their game up in this one. I don't know if they're going to be releasing an Android version, but the iOS version is very good. $5 is how much this app costs, and believe me, it's worth every single penny. So, I, like I said, I'm not a huge user of the uh, desktop version. I only use it for thumbnails and, you know, some very simple stuff such as backgrounds, but this is very beyond easy it's beyond easy believe me right there I don't even know how I did it you might have to just go back but it's making a replicate of the picture that I have right there that's super nice in my opinion you guys I mean it's just beautiful I, I like this app so much and like I said you guys should really pay for it I paid for it with um, a Apple gift card that I had because I think that develop that the developers took their time to make this app perfect for you guys 
and you guys just should appreciate the all the hard work and all the dedication they put into this app all right once we're done we want to save it right so you go to the top left where it says done and you click on where it says save I had a hard time adjusting it because you know my camera has super lame autofocus so you just press save and it'll tell you it'll just save it to a little spot on the app itself then from there you have to um, you have to import it to I mean you have to export it right there so right there if you want to open it you just click it back up and you can start editing it back again right there you put save to camera roll and you can uh, press from uh, GPEG to PNG and they have more file formats so I skipped to the part where you know I saw already in my photo album and in my phone and you can actually upload it to social networks and such without having a problem so that was very super easy to make that picture and just to save it that's why I like this app it's just amazing and super easy to use so at the end of the day I give this app a 10 out of 10 stars why because like I was saying throughout the whole video it's beyond easy to use it has awesome effects super easy to use makes your pictures look very nice than any other photo editor out there um, it lets you edit just the features that you want not the ones that the freaking photo editor wants to use for you and well it's it may be a little bit kinda expensive for some people but it's five dollars in the Apple App Store and like I was saying you guys should really consider buying this app if you guys are into editing pictures and I know some people at my school have photography class this would be an awesome on the go type of app for them because they would just upload it let's say to their email just download it from their email put it on their photo album and edit it right off of their phone so thanks for watching this review you guys if you guys like to make sure to give this a thumbs up comment subscribe and that really just helps you guys I'll leave a lot of links to you know my tech nation buddies and a whole bunch of links where you could contact me and follow me and just get in touch with me so till next time you guys take care have an awesome day and peace